I can't believe how cool the mornings have become. I'm waking up to temperatures in the upper 60s and our highs during the day have been in the mid 80s. We've had a little rain and a few cloudy days, but today is beautiful, cool, and full of sunshine. It's a wonderful day to get some work done. Last week, I took a class by Jason with Petals from the Past on Fall is for Gardening while I attended the Great Fall Garden Festival. Jason reaffirmed my idea to have a large fall garden this year. Last year, I managed to keep up with two raised beds and I grew a few cabbage, carrots, a lot of spinach, some lettuce, a few beets, and a few herbs. My oregano did really well last year. It actually survived temps that went into the teens and it came back out this summer and has been growing great. As you can see, I am so far behind on my yard work. In fact, I'm behind on everything. But you know, let's be real, this is life and you can't stay on top of everything all the time. So yeah, I'm behind, but one of my favorite sayings that I like to tell myself, and sometimes I even tell it to other people, is that it's better late than never. It seems like there's always something that's gonna get you behind. This year, we had a lot of rain. Um, I also broke my lawnmower twice. The belt kept coming off. You know, just things like that. Most of the time, it's usually weather that keeps you inside or gets you behind. And I am always notorious for starting my seeds late, but we're gonna try really hard not to do that this year or not to do that for this fall. Now I have two eight by four foot beds between the crimson coop and our little greenhouse. And it was a great place to grow cucumbers this year. But I think the heat took its toll on my cucumbers and they died off, ended up leaving a lot of grass and weeds that have taken over. Unfortunately, I created this area and it's just too narrow for my mower to get through. So I have to use my weed eater and I have done a really bad job at keeping it cut this year. Not my part. <laughs> there you go, Rudy. There you go, Rudy. Happy he got his run. Yep. Oh, look at all itchy. Yeah, the skeeters are terrible. I am hoping that as we head into fall that I can flip these beds. The plan is to grow some vegetables that Eleanor likes. She's my mother-in-law. And uh, vegetables that she can harvest throughout the fall and the winter. But as you can see, I have a little bit of a mess to clean up first. My bamboo frame held up really well with cucumbers growing all over it but now it's falling down. Um, I'm gonna have to think of a new way to trellis my cucumbers next year, and I think I already have a few ideas, but that's gonna be for another video. Now, I found a couple of plants that were growing in the raised beds, and I'm not sure what they are. I kinda think maybe this is a daffodil since we have daffodils growing all over. And this is my climbing Malabar. I actually planted Malabar and New Zealand spinach, but that is the only one that came up. So we're gonna keep it in the raised bed and see how it does. Now the weeds in the beds are not really that bad. Um, once I got all the cucumbers and everything out of it, it's just a few grasses. But the real problem is, is this huge ant bed that's sitting right in the middle of this bed. Now I have knocked this down a couple of times and they keep coming back. So I'm gonna go have to find my diametaceous earth and give them a little bit and maybe I can get them to go away. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get these beds cleaned out. I'm also going to be adding a lot of amendments to these raised beds. Um, I have a couple of bags of compost and soil in them, but I think I'm gonna change it up. This bed in particular, um, the cucumbers did not do really well. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna get some perlite, some more compost, and maybe some sand and put it in to this particular bed. 
Um, it was drier than the other one, so I need to do something to help it hold more moisture. So I think the addition of uh, sand may help, and um, it'll also help it aerate it along with the perlite. So that's one idea I have. And then I'll probably just repeat the same thing for the other bed um, so that they'll be even. But that other bed, it produced a bunch of beautiful cucumbers. So whatever was going on in that one with all the ants, uh, it was really good. So I'm going to concentrate on making this bed in particular healthy and hopefully raising some really awesome produce in it this year. So as I said, the plan is to plant some vegetables that Eleanor likes and she loves spinach. So I'm going to start some spinach seeds for her along with some mixed lettuce, green cabbage in the one bed. And then we're going to do some carrots, beets, radishes, and maybe some purple cabbage in the other. So thankfully that didn't take too long to get these two beds cleaned out and now I just need to run to the store and I need to go get some compost, some sand, some perlite and peat moss. That's the one thing I was forgetting, peat moss. I need to get some of that. I think that will help hold moisture better in these beds. So that's going to do it for this video. At the end, I actually found a cucumber and threw it to the chickens and you can watch them fight over it. But guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. You guys have a blessed and joyous day and I'll see you on my next video.